an amazing Spider-Man number 20, an issue that everybody down at the rec center was losing their minds over. And I'll try not to yell, but I think I may, because by the end, I think everybody's aware. You end up having an issue written by Joe Kelly that he throws in this little bit of a tidbit that Peter always thought of Mary Jane as a sister. Now, that's kind of weird, right? I don't know, but I could only hope that it's him just trying to get laid. He says this to try to fool old Felicia, and then they can go off and knock some boots. I think she's too smart for that, and I don't think that's what's going on here. I have a couple theories. We'll save those for the end. But boy, just to start out with, why is this something that Marvel has Joe Kelly do if it's that big? Is it that Zeb Wells doesn't have any balls? Maybe. I don't know. We'll talk about that sort of thing by the end. But it's just an odd play. I'd love to say that Marvel can't read the room. I don't know what room they're in. It seems like such an easy thing to recognize what a lot of fans want and then give that to them. That's kind of an equation, I think, for success. But instead of that, Marvel seems to maybe not realize what fans want, but I think that they know. They they have to know, right? So they know what fans might want, but instead of giving it to them, they snatch it away then rub their faces in it. They get the fans, and then in this issue, kind of make fun of them and then kick them in the balls. That is not an equation for success. That does not seem like it computes. Again, remember all this when we get to the end, because I have a theory, and it's a wacky one, but really, what can be more wacky than deciding to have Peter say, Hey, I always looked at Mary Jane as a sister. I mean, what could be more wacky? Here are the stats. We have it written by Joe Kelly, art by Terry Dotson and Rachel Dotson, letters by VCs Joe Caramagna. Now, everybody lost their mind at the end. I've already said this. The last page has this big, giant bombshell. Well, here's another bombshell. Everything up to there sucked, too. The art's terrible. The script is horrendous. But here is the recap. The Silicon Six, a group of tech bros, right here, this ding, that's the annoying ding. I will hit it every time one of these little things annoys me. And tech bros, I should hit it three times. One, two, three, tech bros. We're hunting Tombstone's right-hand menace, White Rabbit. Only Spidey and Cat (laughs) discovered that Rabbit rented the tech to the Six for their new startup's corporate retreat that the hunt was just a team-building exercise. Things did get real, however, when CEO Michael, spelled M-Y-C-H-A-L, and that's the way that the devil spells Michael, was found murdered and the Silicone 5 now <laughs> turned on the animal-themed super folks. So, oh my God, a spider, a rabbit, a, se- a cat, oh my, oh my goodness. The, the art in this issue, it feels unfinished, not a background to be found. A lot of just unfinished nonsense, right? The script is just, it, it's this nonsense Joe Kelly who still thinks it's 2008 and he is writing just like that. Even then, I think it'd be cringy a bit, but now it just feels like an old man who wants to talk with the kids. I'm going to go and, hey, what's up there, fellow kids? Say, hey. and it's just nonsense. And it's one of those things that if you are a Joe Kelly fan, God bless you, but all of you get in the time machine and go back to 2008. Hey, get out of town. Because I felt like that was the same garbage that we were getting in Nonstop Spider-Man and Savage Spider-Man, two books that nobody was reading. And now in these two issues, he's come in to you know, mess up things, put his D prints in to just, just do nonsense. And so with this whole story, you could have had Joe Kelly, just tell a two-issue little side story that was a cool-down after Dark Web. Dark Web sucked. I just want to remind everybody, but you didn't have to rub our noses in the nonsense that Zeb Wells has been rubbing our noses in all along. You should have just come in here and had a little fun, a little thing, before we get to the big reveal. And the way that that has been spelled out, we're going to get that big reveal through an arc up until issue number 25. So we have mystery box storytelling. Oh my God, 
What did Peter do? And what happened in York, PA? Why does Mary Jane and Paul have a family? And we're going to have to wait 25 issues to find out. And as I said already, the idea that drives me nuts is we had our just everything thrown at us and made fun of. And they seem to be laughing at us this whole time. Oh, you want to tell them now? No, let's wait a little longer. Let them stew on it. Uh, What is going on? So you end up having this whole now Silicon 5. They're trying to fight off White Rabbit, who's just annoying. Spider-Man, who's got our man Kareem, who pisses his pants. And that's supposed to be funny. And Black Cat going around. And it is just nothingness. It is just straight garbage. Bosh, as the French say. And yeah, you get to this point where eventually it's revealed that old Michael, he didn't die. He set this up. This was part of a loyalty test for these tech bros that I don't give a rat's ass about. I don't care about them. They're annoying. And really, they have the great effect of making everybody else around them annoying. And so by the end, it is such a nothingness of a story that it angers me, right? And then we get to the last page. We get to the last page where you end up having Peter say, by the way, I always thought of Mary Jane as a sister. He ends up saying, because Felicia wants to know what's what, what's up with us. And he says, Mary Jane has been a part of my life for a long time. More than a part, but she's more like a sister. And you end up having Felicia, nope. And then P- a best friend, better but. And he says, I love her. I always have, and part of me always will. But I think that love has changed, you know, like a capital L to lowercase or the other way around, whichever makes sense. Well, first off, none of it does, right? So there you go. There's the issue. I knew this was going to be quick, but here comes theory time. You end up going through all of this stuff, all this nonsense. We still don't know what happened in York, PA, that made everybody hate Peter and suddenly make people have, you know, families out of nowhere or whatnot. But I think that you end up, because it is weird having this be thrown out there by Joe Kelly. Again, maybe it's because Zeb Wells doesn't have the balls to do it, but I think it's something different. This is what I think is going to happen. I think that by issue 25, things will change back to the norm. And what Marvel will hope or think will happen is that we'll then applaud Zeb Wells for fixing something that he was a part of ruining. This doesn't work for me. This is something that happens a lot. I've talked about this, about a lot of other writers and stories. You can't come in and ruin a character, ruin a relationship, only to, at the end, get it back to the normal status quo level and be applauded because you did that. You didn't do anything. You ended up fixing your nonsense that you set up only to fix to get rewarded for or applauded for. Doesn't work for me. I think that what is what might happen, but that's nonsense. And so why? And that's why I think that it's one of those where Joe Kelly's taking a big fall for doing this. But Zeb Wells, he'll swoop in. And this is a way to get everybody on board with Zeb. What? No, he's written a lot of garbage in this. This run has been bad. And then this is just the icing on the crap cake. And so we'll get to whatever happens. But Joe Kelly and the Dodson should be embarrassed for what they have put out here, especially in the second issue of this two-parter. And I hope that I never, ever have to read another current Joe Kelly issue again. I'll go back and read some of his other stuff because it's pretty good. This stuff's garbage. Go, go away. Don't do this. And again, if you are a fan of his, all the power to you. I am not now, and I don't want to ever read anything from him again, especially after what he did there with Peter talking that nonsense about him and Mary Jane. So with that, I'm giving this a 2.5 out of 10. And if that ends up seeming low to you, if that's a shocking score, I think that you have been pretty much brainwashed with what we get normally nowadays with scores. Nobody wants to go under an 8. Well, I'm going under an eight. And again, I'm coming back here in a positive way, but this is garbage. I can't stand it. 2.5 out of 10. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, enable the notifications, and let me know what you thought about this issue in the comments below.